Well, good afternoon, trappers. <clears throat> I'm uh, sitting here kind of in limbo. Uh, as I was saying the other day, my truck was down over there behind or in that lease that I was trapping. I've taken three of them out of that lease, hunt lease, in the uh, five days I've been trapping two females and a male and uh, I mean, but uh, as I was saying the other day on that little short video I had a uh, truck wouldn't start in the the lease president that uh, had me to trap it <clears throat> he uh, he came out there and we tried to jump it we put booster cables on it, they even just regular ca jump cables off a, a two-ton dually. And they, we couldn't get it to go. And uh, he, he got up out of there while I was uh, fixing the, I was going to turn it over. And uh, he hit on the starter and it barely turned over. So we come to the conclusion to start it out. Okay. Um, so my truck got a free ride. Well, it wasn't free. Uh, got a ride to the Ford place there in the town, <clears throat> 10 miles south of where I live. And uh, so it's up there. <clears throat> I'm hoping it's ready tomorrow. I'm hoping, and, uh, and I'm hoping that's all it is, is a starter, because I bought that truck about close to three months ago, and, and I ain't never had no problems out of it, but, uh, but yesterday, me and my son-in-law went out there where I had my traps, and checked them all, and uh, I went ahead and set them all off because I knew I wasn't going to be able to check them today. So, uh, it's a good thing I went out there yesterday to check them because I had two dogs. One of them was mean, I'm telling you, he was mean. I'm glad I had my son-in-law with me because he was on a 10-foot uh, drag and they wouldn't tangle up at all. So, he kept him occupied as I put the cable around him and uh, we got him undone and he shagged out of there and the next doll was a uh, walker with a collar on it <clears throat> he uh, oh he was he loved he glad to see us and I didn't even put no uh, catch pole on him and nothing. I just walked up there to him. He was on a trap that uh, had it, it had a, a earth anchor in it and uh, it uh, I just undone the trap. And after that he wanted to ride but he didn't get a ride. But uh, he was somebody's deer dog because I could uh, you know, he had a name plate and he was a July walker. And, uh, but he, I went ahead and I, we went up there and uh, set off my last trap and came back and he was gone. But we could hear dogs back in the distance running deer. So, uh, yeah, uh, they supposed to have their dogs put up this time of year. But <clears throat> evidently he was out and uh, he got caught. So I don't figure them two dogs be caught again. Uh, they learned their last lesson, and their feet wouldn't hurt. Uh, I'm a EMB 550 guy, and uh, oh, they they good on uh, animals' feet. So I, they didn't hurt them a bit, a bit. But anyway, I'm I'm waiting to get my truck fixed so I can uh, get on back out there. Yeah, it's a, about a 30 mile round trip. And, uh, 
So, anyway, it, uh, there's a lot of coyote sign out there. And I, I, I'm just hoping the females, along with the males, I already had the pups, and they going out with the males, help uh, bring them back food to eat. Because the females got to have some really high protein to feed their pups. And like I said, I caught two females and they both had pups somewhere. And the male was probably 35, 36 pounds, somewhere along in there, a pretty big coyote. And uh, the female, both of them were pretty poor. Uh, I guess they pretty well sucked down. But, uh, and also I have some uh, dog proof set out just to keep the coons out of my coyote traps. And I've caught three coons. That's one thing he wants done out there is to to keep the uh, help on the turkey population, he knows the turkey population out as great as it was. And plus, along with that, I'm helping with the deer population. And and the president of that lease, he owns the fourth place down there where my truck is. So, oh, he's real nice. And uh, he called the wrecker out and everything. And, he pulled me out to an intersection to where the record could get to me pretty easy. But anyway, uh, as soon as I get 120 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. And I plan on getting some t-shirts and some caps. And also, I'm probably going to give away three traps. I don't know what kind of traps yet, but I figure they're going to be Bridger number two Douglas and uh, that's what I figured uh, I got a boatload of them and I, some of them I ain't even use I'm, like I said I'm an MB 550 guy but uh, I kind of like to give away three traps and maybe a, a shirt and a cap uh, uh, both I have Washita Hill Country, trapping the Washita Hill Country on it. And, uh, but anyway, I thought I'd give y'all an update about what's going on. And, uh, it's been real wet. It's been raining. And, uh, but my traps was in pretty good working order yesterday when I was out there. Uh, I caught them two dogs. And uh, half my traps on drags, half of them on earth anchors. Uh, the warehouse company up here with their road up plantations, it's ideal for drags. As soon as the coyote gets caught, <clears throat> they're hung up in just five yards and it, they don't take them long. And, uh, but yeah, uh, anyway, I thought I'd give y'all an update and, uh, Y'all find people that would like to subscribe to my channel. And like I said, I'm just getting started. I, I'm probably not three months old. But, uh, but yeah, that, get, see if you can find something that wants to subscribe and like my channel. Uh, uh, like helps me a lot. And hit that bell icon, because uh, I will have updates and videos. And I found out videoing yourself on the lake ain't much fun when you're in the boat. So I didn't do that. I quit that. <laughs> I caught a, uh, me and my buddy Thursday went out to D Queen Lake and uh, we caught 12 bass. That's what we do mostly bass fish. And uh, oh, it was anywhere from about four and a quarter almost four and a half to about two pounds, all of them. A real nice mess of fish. And, uh, but bass, are, they're starting to spawn. And uh, we do a little crappie fishing too. But uh, he'll come up from uh, Texas, Canada, which is 60 miles from here. 
we were to go, we got three lakes within uh, Dick Queen Lake's five miles from here from my house. Gillum Lake is about five miles from my house. And then Derek's Lake, oh, it's about 40 minutes from my house. Then we got Millwood Lake. It's a renowned bass lake in southwest Arkansas. It's, <clears throat> it's capable of producing bass 15, 18 pounds. But anyway, uh, he comes up from Texas County, which is 60 miles, and we'll go fishing in one of them lakes usually, and uh, usually once a week. And uh, that's what we did last Thursday and Thursday before that. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I'm going to get off of here. <clears throat> Tight chains. Catch y'all later. And uh, y'all like and subscribe. See ya.